Hello everyone. Today I will be writing the code for finding the convolution of two finite length signals. So I will be using the SciPy library. We will be using the signal processing module of the SciPy library. Let's go to the convolution. Now I assume that you have the basic knowledge about the convolution, how it is calculated. Else I will be attaching this link in the description. You can view this tutorial. And we will be using the convol method which is available in the signal module of the SciPy library. It takes four inputs IN1, IN2, mode and method. Mode and method are optional so let us leave those where IN1 and IN2 are input and impulse response. We can interchangeably give the input and impulse response because the convolution is an omnidative operation. So where we will be giving IN1 and IN2 in the form of numpy arrays. So we will be using the numpy also and what does this function return is an n dimensional array containing a subset of discrete linear convolution so here discrete linear convolution is performed between the input and the impulse response and an n dimensional here we will be using the 1d array so an one dimensional array will be written after performing the convolution so let's start now let's import the signal package from scipy import signal now let's import the numpy import numpy as np now let's define our input and impulse response x is equal to np dot array we'll be using the numpy array 3 2 1 this is our input and the impulse response np dot 3 1 2 so between these two we will be performing the convolution so the method to be used is signal dot convol here the method used is convol and we need to pass the input and the impulse response let's print this is the output input of length 3 or impulse response of length 3 so the output would be length of the input plus length of the impulse response minus 1 so the length is 5 so that's it